welcome everyone. Uh, yes, now we're going to talk about how we can use the new site selected permission that we have uh, in Azure Active Directory in order to access uh, SharePoint uh, online uh, content. So let me briefly explain you uh, what the context is and then I will move to uh, the demo environment. So most likely most of us were used to use the App reg new uh, page to register through ACS and through the old school SharePoint admin model, uh, client IDs and secrets in order to be able to access specific uh, site collections or specific content with specific permissions. Because in the past we were uh, only it was only possible to use. Uh, yeah, for example, if we wanted to do an application running uh, in background uh, with an application only uh, access mode, uh, was only uh, possible to use the site.fullcontrol.all permission in order to access uh, uh, all of the content in a, a SharePoint online tenant. And this was not uh, the preferred option from a security office point of view and from a security point of view, generally speaking, and not only from the security office point of view. Uh, nowadays, we can also use a new uh, kind or a new flavor of permission called site.selected, which is available both for Microsoft Graph and for SharePoint Online. It is an application permission. And through that permission, we can then select, as the name implies, we can select the site collections where we want to have access. And we can then use either Microsoft Graph and the Microsoft Graph SDK, or CISOM and REST, and eventually the PMP uh, SDK to access the target uh, site collection uh, by selecting only the site collection that we want to manage and we want to edit in our solution. So uh, how does it work uh, and what do we need to do in order to satisfy the requirements? Well, first of all, we need uh, an admin to grant the selected permissions to the target application, which is reasonable. Otherwise, it will be an hack uh, of the tenant. So we need a global administrator or an application with the site full control all permission or a site collection administrator or the site collection where we want to grant the permission, the selected permission for the target app. When we do that, uh, we grant the permission using uh, a graph endpoint, uh, which is available under the site uh, endpoint, followed by the site ID slash uh, permissions. And through that endpoint, uh, we can uh, grant, uh, we can revoke, or we can update permission grants uh, to specific applications which have uh, the uh, site.selected permission configured in Azure Active Directory. We can also grant those permissions using the PMP PowerShell command let that you see right here. So grant, uh, get, Revoke or set PMP Azure ID app site permission. And the permission that we can grant using uh, then using SPO, uh, CISOM, and REST are read, write, manage, and full control. So basically, if you want to create a solution which will run in the background uh, with application only, you can now do that just selecting a specific set collection as the target and not anymore being forced to provide the permission to access all of the site collection. The whole tenant which was not really good in the past. So let me try to show you how it works uh, uh, through a demo. And so I will switch to my demo environment and show you something uh, in action. So first of all, here we have an Azure Active Directory uh, application registered, which I pre-registered in my environment. It is a really regular one. There's nothing special. But if we go to the API permission sections, we can see that here we have uh, under the Microsoft Graph, uh, in a, a permission of type application, which is uh, with scope size dot selected, as you can see. And the same we have for SharePoint, still an application permission called size dot selected. When we access uh, uh, Microsoft Graph with application only, we can use the client secrets and the client credentials. So under certificates and secrets, we have our client ID and we have the client secret that we can use to access with our app only token, uh, the target API. From a SharePoint uh, online point of view, if we want to access SharePoint online with app only mode, we need uh, an X509 certificate. And that's why in this application, I also configured a, an auto generated X509 certificate. Then I created, for the sake of explaining you how these new site selected permission work, uh, I created two different site collections. One is called site selected granted site, meaning that this is the site where I explicitly granted the permission to access uh, uh, the content for my application. 
And then I have another one, which is called site selected not granted site, which is a site collection where I did not grant uh, the permissions to my application. So that we will be able to see that we can easily access and consume the content of this site collection, but we will not be able to do the same against this one because we are not granted, uh, we didn't have the grant of the permission. So how do we access uh, the target site collections? I have a demo which is built using .NET and using either the graph SDK or the uh, PMP libraries. And first of all, we will see how to use graph. So we have a method called consume SPO selected site via graph. I simply provide the URL of the target site so that I can, so that I can use it twice, targeting the, uh, the good one and the bad one. So the one where I have the grant and where uh, and the one where I don't have the grant of the permission. And in this method, I simply use uh, MSAL and the graph SDK to access the target environment. So I say that I want to get for the specific tenant, client ID and client secret, uh, my credentials, which I will provide to uh, the constructor of the graph service client in the graph SDK, so that I can then say, okay, give me uh, the site collection that I want to access, and I will try to create a new list in the target site because I want to show you that I can manage the content and I can basically be the uh, admin of the target site collection if I have the permission granted. And in fact, I can get a new list. I can add the new list to the list of lists that I have in my site, and I will be able to do that in the granted site, not in the other one. And the same thing can be done also using the SPO approach. I will explain you the code and then run the application at once. So here I have another method which will rely on the PMP libraries just for the sake of simplicity. And here I'm using the authentication manager that we have to create uh, a client context of uh, uh, PMP so that we can use the X509 certificate with all of the information that I need to create the context. And then we can simply say, okay, load the current user and let's see if the current user is an admin, just for the sake of showing you the output. And then using CISOM, I can create a new list creation information object and I can add it to the list of sites uh, through CISOM. And then I execute the query asynchronous using the PMP framework. So. Let me run this application. Let me show you the output. I will just run it with Control F5, and here I'm dragging the UI. So here you can see we start consuming the site where we have the granted permission. Here you see successfully added a list to the SPO site with selected permission and using graph. Then I try to do the same with the site where I don't have the granted permission, and I see that I get an access denied. And the same applies when I do this, uh, the same thing using the uh, CISM approach and the PMP library approach. So I can access the site where I was granted the permission and I am an admin of that site, and I cannot access the site where I don't have uh, the grant of the permission. And in fact, if I go back here and go to site contents, we can see that in this site, we have uh, a new generated via CISM and generated via Microsoft Graph uh, lists created in this uh, site, while in the other one, I don't have uh, any list created because I don't have the permission to do that. So how did I grant the permission to my app? Well, using uh, PMP PowerShell, which is the easiest way, in my opinion, I simply connect to the target environment. So connect PMP online, I provide the URL of the site and eventually the credentials in with whatever uh, technique you like. And then once I am connected to the target site uh, and I simply need to be a site collection administrator of the target site, I can grant to the application that I want to target. And this ID is the client ID of my application right here in Azure Active Directory. Okay, so I say grant to that application the permission to, for example, write the target site collection. The options that I have are read and write when I grant, but I can later on update and I can even use the full control permission so that basically we can start with an initial grant of a write permission and then we can make an elevation of permissions with the update, the set method, the set command let, sorry, and we can configure the full control permission so that we don't need to be a tenant administrator. We don't need a tenant administrator. We just need to be a site collection administrator. And once someone created and configured the application with the sites.selectedPermission in Azure Active Directory, 
just being the site collection administrator, we can grant uh, specific permissions to our target application and we can run uh, background tasks uh, or application running with application only token and consuming and managing the uh, target site collection. Uh, that's all for me. Back to you, David, and thank you. Awesome, Paolo. Thank you very much uh, for that. Really, really cool stuff. Thank you.